Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Giamini coming to you with two questions from the Chapter 8 pretest. Number four was a lot of people had correct. I'm just going to go over it really quickly for some, so we know how to label these answers. Number three, not as successful, but maybe after today's lesson with circumference, it might help you to open up your eyes to this problem. So it says, the capital, rotunda, uh, the capital rotunda connects the White House and Senate sides of the U.S. Capitol. The rotunda is 180 feet tall and has a circumference of about 301 and a half feet. What is the approximate diameter to the nearest foot? Okay, well, first of all, I'm looking for diameter. Well, because I'm looking for diameter, I do not need to know how tall the rotunda is. What I do need to know is the circumference. And it says the circumference is about 301 and a half feet. Now it says round your answer to the nearest foot. Well, I know that circumference deals with, circumference is pi, and we've been using the symbol pi, and we know that pi, we represent that in terms of numbers as three and 1400. So it's three and 1400, and we times that by d, the diameter. Now looking at this problem, it says the circumference is 301 and a half feet. Well, I'm gonna substitute that right in where I see the c, because the c stands for circumference. So I'm gonna substitute in 301 and a half, I'm going to make that equal to 314 times D. And then again, the D stands for in this algorithm diameter. Well, now we have an equation. What I'm going to do is divide both sides by 3 and 14 hundredths. So divide both sides by 3 and 14 hundredths. Because I'm doing that, that's canceled out. I'm left with D is equal to. Now, if I'm going to divide this longhand, let me move this out of the way because I'm going to need some space here to divide this. We have 301 and a half feet divided by three and fourteen hundredths. Now, first thing I notice, I have a decimal in my divisor, which I will need to get rid of. So I can multiply this number by a hundred, meaning the decimal moved over. Whatever I do to the dividend, or excuse me, the divisor, I must do to the dividend. So I must move that decimal over two places here. So what was before 301 and a half feet now becomes 30,150. And I'm going to put my decimal up here because I did have to round to the nearest foot, so I'm going to take that to the tenths place. Now I go out about doing my dividing. Uh, 314 does not go into 3, does not go into 0, does, or 30 does not go into 301. It will go into this. I'm going to go with 9 times. Because I know 3,000 is about is roughly 10 times bigger than that, so I'm going to go 9 times. So 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 27, 28. Now I just do my subtraction. That's 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. That becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. This becomes a 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. Okay? I bring down the next digit, which is a 0. I like to look at this first digit in the hundreds place, see if it fits into the hundreds, thousands place. What I'm seeing here is 3 will go into 18 six times, so I'm going to give 6 a shot. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 is 6 plus the 2 is 8. And then 6 times 3 is 18. Oh, this works real nice. Subtract. That gives me 6. I will bring down a 0. Well, obviously, this doesn't go into it. So my answer would be approximately 90, uh, 96 feet. Oh, wait. Yes, 96 feet. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one real quickly. So the next one, again, most of us had it correct. Most of us had it correct, the calculation component of it on the pretest. It was, it was the actual labeling of the correct answer that we messed up. So let me get rid of my comments here, my little notes, and let's look at the next problem. A local grocery store has diagonal parking spaces that are shaped like parallelograms. So in my mind, I'm thinking parallelograms, which is something like this. And we've all pulled into a grocery store before. Usually we don't have the lines here, but you have those long parallel lines that you, your mom or dad pulls into. If a space is nine feet wide, so again, the width, the width of this is nine feet to accommodate a car and opening the doors and stuff like that. The length of it is 24 feet. What is the area? Now, area of a parallelogram 
is similar to that of a triangle or a rectangle. We have base times height, or some of you like to use length times width. Either one is fine. And we have a multiplication problem, guys. I'm going to go 24 times 9. Again, the multiplication you guys did was great. Did a nice job. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 3 gives me 21. Okay, so that area equals 216. Now, it's in feet, and we're doing area, so it's square feet. So essentially, we're taking this parking space and breaking up the little Q, little squares that are each a foot by a foot, a square foot, and there's going to be 216 of those inside of this. That's what essentially that means. Okay, hope this helps you out in preparing for the post-test. Take care. Bye.